G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I will be going over last week's results and giving you guys my round 11 tips for this weekend's AFL action. So let's talk about last week. I got six out of nine. Was not too bad, but not too good either. So let's start off with the game one of the week. We had Colton against the Swans. Now, back Colton in this one by 17. They ended up winning by 15. So the margin was actually pretty good here. Very happy with that one. I, you know, good start to the week. Continued on. I thought Geelong had beat Port Adelaide. That one came through. Uh, I thought the Bulldogs would beat the Suns. The Suns competed for a long time in this game. I was a bit nervous about it, but the, the Bulldogs got up in the end, so I got that one. D's obviously winning that one quite comfortably over North Melbourne. This one, I look, in hindsight, I probably should have tipped the Saints, but you just don't know with Adelaide. Sometimes they play at home and they look like a completely different side, but today it just wasn't, well, that day was just not the case. Saints got up in the end. Uh, Richmond, I tipped to beat Essendon. That one was an obvious one. They came through. Giants beat West Coast. Another obvious one. And then the last two of the week, I think most people can forgive you for getting these ones wrong. I back the Lions here. Hawks beat them. I was very surprised about that. One of the better teams in the comps got beaten by one of the middle of the range teams. So that was disappointing. I thought the Lions would be a shoe in, but they weren't. And then finally, Frio at Optus lost to Collingwood. So huge win there for Collingwood. But I thought Fremantle would get the job done. They didn't. All right, round 11. Let's have a look here. Starting things off, I'm going to back the Swannies at home. Uh, how much do I want to tip them by? Swans. I think 17 is a safe margin. Going to get 17 points. I think the Suns will win that one. Lions to have a bounce back win over the Giants. I'm going to take the Cats to beat Adelaide. Um, I think that, that's pretty much a shoe in as well. Uh, Melbourne against Frio. Melbourne should win this one, but I think it'll be quite a competitive game. I don't really know why Frio's at $4.60. I mean, they're still a top four team at the moment. So I think that's a bit harsh, but uh, I think this will be a cracker of a game. Uh, Western Bulldogs to make light work of the Eel Eagles. Uh, then in this one, I think this is going to be another cracker of a game. I know Hawthorne are the favourites, but I'm going to take the Suns in this one. I think the Suns will get the job done. Um, or oh, the, the Hawthorne are fan favourites, I should say. Not the favourites, because the Suns are technically favourites. It is at TIO Stadium, though, so... Uh, not at Metricon. Marvel Stadium sees St Kilda in North Melbourne. St Kilda win this one with ease. Collingwood against Colton at the MCG. I think this is going to be a cracker of a game. Um, this is tough. I think I'm going to tip the Blues, but I'm not overly confident in that one. And finally, Port Adelaide should bounce back and have a good win over Essendon. All right, so let's make sure those tips are saved and go back over them just one more time. Swans to beat Richmond, Lions to beat Giants, Cats to beat Crows, Dees to beat Frio, Bulldogs to beat West Coast, Suns to beat Hawthorne, Saints to beat North Melbourne, Carlton to beat Collingwood, and finally Port Adelaide to beat Essendon. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for me. I hope you guys have a good week in your tips. Let me know who you are tipping down below. Do you agree with my tips or are you changing some? Let me know, guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.